What's up, y'all? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, shout out to Shred, and um, I uh, I did a thing today. Uh, I went ahead and I bought a toy. So I went and picked up this guy. And it is the Hex Mods uh, customizable RC truck. And um, it's got a lot of options. I'm actually really excited to take this thing out and build it. Uh, it's like 80 bucks pretty much. Um, but uh, it's got multiple different tuner parts with it, like upgrades. It's got different springs and gear options here. And it's got different, uh, looks like tie rod ends. I uh, got underglow lighting you can install, uh, different steering links uh, with different degrees indicated on them, locking differentials, soft tires, drift tires, alternate hood, front bumpers, fender flares, uh, I mean uh, lights, just all kinds of stuff. So um, I think this is going to be pretty fun to actually build and play with. And uh, it says here it does up to like 17 miles an hour. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. And uh, then that way I can go ahead and play with it. Because it looks like fun. Alright, so just quickly looking over this a little bit closer. And uh, just batteries included on here. Uh, it is uh, ready to play out of the box. You just got to put it together uh, with whatever options I guess you want. And, uh, yeah, pretty much just take it out, customize it, set up your course, and then drive it. So, uh, these are all the parts that tell you what's inside the box. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy open. <laughs> bye bye. Let me pull that out of the way so I don't get that all jacked up. It's cool that it comes with some neat looking uh, graphics already that you can choose to put on there if you want. I might keep it clean. I may save some of these drift graphics and whatnot. Uh, anyway, back to this guy. Let's see what else is under here. Instruction manual. Okay, so quickly looking at this, uh, it does look like you can easily take this uh, chassis off and then the body and basically put them together and it's already ready to play right out of the box just um, with having to put together you know, those few couple of steps, throw some batteries in it and uh, just pair the two together and then boom you're off to uh, off to the races essentially uh, it does have proportional steering which is awesome with all the different uh, trim controls and whatnot on it and uh, yeah apparently all the extra stuff is um, you know upgrades and optional change out stuff so uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that now anyway but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, taking it off now that I kind of look through a few pages and uh, see what's necessary. Okay, so I've been building on this thing here now for probably about the last 30 minutes and I've got some of the parts changed out. Majority of the stuff cut off of the board here. There's a few things left I got to put in like the locking differential. I uh, cut the rest of these things off so I can throw them in a bag. These are the other parts so far that I either have not used or have taken off and these are my tune-up parts. Uh, so right now I'm still working on the body but I have found that along the way uh, the tiny little screwdriver that they give you is really actually very tiny. I mean, it's smaller than my thumb by quite a bit. So it helps if you have another um, like set with a little bit better reach. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to this. Um, another thing probably that would help if you don't have super great lighting is if you have like a headlamp or something that you can wear to direct the light exactly where you need it. Uh, Cause like right now I gotta get some screws up here in this tiny little hole and with it being black on black, whenever I tilt it to get the screwdriver in there, it disappears. So I think I'm gonna grab my headlamp real quick and with the longer reach on that other tool set, hopefully I'll get this done a little bit quicker cause I wanna play with it. 
Aha, there we go. Now with the headlamp on, that is much better. I can look in there and actually see all the holes and everything, and uh, that should work better. Let's do this. All right, so it has taken me a while, but uh, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I went ahead and swapped out the parts on the body that I wanted to swap out. Uh, I got to go ahead and install the lights real quick. <clears throat> but on the uh, chassis, I have uh, swapped out the rims and the tires. I have swapped the uh, open differential that was in the rear to the front. And I have installed the locked differential that came in the package. I um, also went ahead and had to relocate the shocks and change out the springs. I went with uh, the uh, soft spring up front and a uh, medium spring out back, which you can see now it's got the purple in there and then the uh, green up front instead of the silver that came with it. I went ahead and changed out the gears as well for uh, acceleration. I put the accelerator gears in there instead. Um, pulled off the uh, grill, pulled out the little vents, put in the turbos, put the light bar on, left the wing the way it is. I really like the way that these are soft rubber because, you know, as you hit stuff, they're not going to break and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, changed all that out and I think I'm ready to drop the body on it and play with it. So, one more minute. All right, so I got it all built, and uh, she looks pretty bad compared to how she did originally. I like it. And uh, now, finally, it is time to pair my remote so you click the power button flip your car over hold down the power button for two seconds it says should go solid red on the remote although I don't know that I was able to hit the power button with my fat fingers so 1001, 1002. There we go. <clears throat> Solid red. All right, so now it should be connected. Oh man. So, those lights are super dim. Man, I thought they would be brighter than that. So this is my little hex mods uh, truck that I built, and uh, it is actually a lot of fun to play with. It's not, you know, super super um, in depth, but I mean, it's got proportional steering, proportional throttle. Um, it does have um, the ability to change out a bunch of stuff. I went ahead and changed out like the stuff on the outside and a few things on the inside. I changed out springs and uh, gearing and um, the diffs. I took the open diff out of the back. Uh, I need to get better tires for it too. It's one of my one complaints is the drift tires that came with it are actually like, they're like a hard rubber rather than plastic. So they definitely don't slide around well. And um, playing with it here in the kitchen, some of these, you know, like these lips, when I hit this here, it just rips the tire right off the wheel. So. I need to uh, get some better tires for it, but um, I took the open diff out of the back and put it up front and put the locked diff in the rear, and um, so now, unfortunately, it's actually all-wheel drive, um, and I got to change that. I'm going to make it rear-wheel drive only, open up the front completely, and see if I can get it to drift a little bit better, but so far, it has been a lot of fun to play with. It's pretty damn fast, too, for being as small as it is.